Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello, Jim. Oh, baby, what an unbelievable Elimination Chamber pay-per-view Saturday night. The JFW universe has been blown wide apart. Only one champion left standing, that is Noalius the Wemdope. Everywhere else is change and freshness and a new day. And that is just before WrestleMania around the corner. What on earth is going to go down tonight? It was unbelievable, wasn't it? I, I've never seen such a... There's that thing, I don't think there's ever been such a night in the JFW before. Absolutely unbelievable. Four title changes. Noalius looking untouchable. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, wasn't it? Elimination Chamber can always happen. It's, it's a brutal structure. It's a great equalizer in itself. It's so many. It's five against one for every contender, for every champion. Yeah, it's, uh, it's I guess at the end of the day, it's almost no surprise. But some of those champions uh, had been such dominant, such great champions that I did expect one or two of them to pull through. It wasn't the case. Me too, yeah. Unbelievable. News just in. Frosty has been confirmed to be in a match at WrestleMania. <laughs> Details to be confirmed later. Hash pay to feature engaged. More appropriate way to uh, to clear up some of the chaos, to make understanding of the unknown. But Jim McMahon, the big bad boss himself, baby. Yep. Thank you very much, Frosty. Yep. Okay. Then maybe Frosty's going to WrestleMania. All right. Let's 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 go to ringside and see what Mr. Jim McMahon has got to say. Making the main event for tonight. God damn it. This is probably the worst idea I've ever had doing a promo right now. Because I've got COVID. <laughs> I've got a terrible throat. And now I'm trying to talk as well. This is really stupid. But I've got to make an announcement. Because as you all know, Rick Reckless lost his EAB championship on Saturday at the Elimination Chamber. But he's a slimy son of a, son of a bitch. And he's wangled... A rematch clause into his contract. I don't know how he managed it. I don't know how he got past my lawyers. But he's got a rematch clause. So tonight, in the main event, it's going to be Scuro Mezzo putting his title on the line versus Rick Reckless. God damn it. See ya. No way. No way! <laughs> oh my goodness! Skuro Sk killed himself to win that title two nights ago! There's no way he can wrestle tonight! <laughs> oh man! Oh, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Absolute scenes. <laughs> Absolute scenes. If, I mean, smart move by Rick to immediately cash in the rematch, considering what Skuro did to himself to win that title. <laughs> He, he, he leapt from, like, a skyscraper height three times. <laughs> three times. Putting his body through hell. He's a broken man. That, that is... Wow. Wow. <laughs> he did. That is, that is outrageous. Yeah. Poor, poor Skuro. Um, the odds are going to be stacked against him defending. I mean, yeah, he absolutely, he absolutely put everything on the line, didn't he? Unbelievable. Went through hell three times. No one gets higher than Skuro Metzo. <laughs> 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 three times launching himself from the pod it's 2k22 now Randy so if you want the Dean Ambrose thing um, it's this one because the, the JFW one is now out of date because we will be upgrading to 2k22 soon uh, very soon in like two weeks ish so there you go yeah because it's February's a short month isn't it so it really is about two weeks right so now we've got the Wemdor Open Challenge Noalius defending again let's see who against? This feels a little bit like lamb to the slaughter here, Jim. Noalius has shown absolute dominance in his title reign so far. I feel sorry for whoever's about to come out. <laughs> yeah. Who's this? <laughs> White dragon. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wow. dear. 
Tell us about White Dragon, Jim. I don't know if I know. Well, um, White Dragon, of course. If you've seen, if you've seen the Peacemaker TV show, he was an absolutely horrendous, uh, horrendous person. Um, a kind of neo-Nazi kind of person, in fact, I believe. And wow. yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty inappropriate. Um, oh my god, I, I don't know what this what this entrance reminds you of anyone, but um, oh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Let's let's hope he's not like that sort of thing. But you know, wow. Oh dear. <laughs> dear me, yeah, that's that's really terrible. So Nawali is our hero tonight. <laughs> we need him to do what he does best and kick ass and take names. I don't know if you noticed, he did come out with the exact same theme tune as Trific and the same entrance as Trific, but um, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. <laughs> well, if we see a certain white small package tonight, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, might, might start to get suspicious, but it could be anybody. Mm. With all, all the mysteries going on in the JFW. <laughs> what isn't a mystery is how great a Wimdope champion this man is. Nobody has even come close to beating him so far. That's true, yeah, he's been absolutely dominant thus far in the Wildlands. Incredible. Pay to win, engaged. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Shawnee, Shawnee drew the picture on that belt, Ham. It's a, it's a classic Shawnee, uh, Shawnee scrawl. <laughs> he tried to write well done, but it looked like Wendell. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It's uh, reassuring to know that a man as talented at Blood Bowl, at chess, at wrestling as Shawnee has some weaknesses. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. And that, of course, is chatting to his stream. <laughs> That's not a weakness for him. He just does, simply doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> He foresaw that it could have been a weakness, so he just nipped it right in the bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Introducing the challenger from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 264 pounds, White the Dragon. Oh dear. Well, let's hope he takes a visit to Suplex City. Is he? Well, slight, slight variant here for copyright purposes. I'm, I'm sure you're wrong, but um, I won't argue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Calcium. I have no idea where Hancock is. Calcium Kaz in the house. Oh, White Dragon. Taller than he looked on entrance, actually. Pretty big guy. He is very tall, yeah, yeah. Looks looks to be about the same height and build as uh, Tri, funnily enough. <laughs> does, does being tall make a normal package seem small, Jim? That's a good question, yeah. Maybe he's not actually that small uh, overall, just, just uh, proportionally. Uh, I've definitely heard bodybuilders claim that in the past. Wow, Noalius <laughs> not able to get White Dragon up, but Ooh. also White Dragon not able to get Noalius down. And here's the Noalius we know. Beautiful takedown, double leg. Calcium Kaz just in time to nod his head in improvement. <laughs> oh, and some beautiful ground and pound follow up as well. Would not want to be White Dragon right now or anything that he stands for. No, ever. <laughs> I mean, that includes that includes his anime as well. <laughs> oh wow! Beautiful reversal from Noalius there. Either that, or simply White Dragon couldn't keep a grip. The big bruiser that is the Wemdope champion, oh, and again really... the ground and pound, really, really efficient. And goodness me, once again, just absolute dominance so far, at least from the champ. Oof. 
tr really tried for the early pin there. I think that was a bit ambitious, even for Noalius. Oh, here comes White Dragon. Fans rightly booing him in his attempts. Yeah. Puts Noalius into the corner. Does land the clothesline. Oh, dear. Oh, Oof. man. Brutal move. Yeah, really impressive power to get him up for the side slam there. Just a one count kick out. Going to take so much more to put Noalius away. Oof. Big shin across the throat, though. Goodness knows what damage that just did to his Adam's apple. Yeah. Probably end up feeling like me right now. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Oh my goodness! Power slam into the corner and power slam in the middle of the canvas! Wow, I've never seen that before and I love it. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Corkscrew takedown. For White Dragon, making a comeback somehow. Immediately bouncing back from the power slams, but he hasn't got enough in him for the suplex. And there's the Walius is. You just can't go power for power, toe to toe with Noalius. Sure can't look at this. Oh, there's one. Suplex City indeed. <laughs> there's two. <laughs> oh, absolutely can't, brutal. Can't think White Dragon has much left in him now. This has got to be close to the end. Oh my days. Deadlifted like a rag doll. He does look like an Olympic powerlifter, doesn't he, Noalius? He does. <laughs> oh my goodness, camel clutch. I, I wouldn't blame White Dragon for tapping out right now. No! Slips out of the back. That's what you can do with a small package. <laughs> oh, inverted side rush and leg sweep. Very nice. Yes, there probably should have been an anime, an anime made somewhere. <laughs> Noalius out to dry. Great power from White Dragon. Tries again for the pin. Still a one count. What do you have to do to keep Noalius down? Quite a lot, I tell you that. Have we seen him pinned or submitted Oof. yet, Jim? I don't think so. He, he wasn't successful in the Rumble. But other than that, I don't think we've seen Noalius lose a match, right? We haven't, no. He's not about to either, I don't think. <laughs> he certainly is not. What a comfortable win for the big champion. Goodness me. And the rain continues and doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. Boy, howdy. How oh, Tony. Well, absolute dominance there from Noalius. Was, and he soaks in a little appreciation from the fans for once, putting racism in its place. Yep, that's that, that's that problem solved. <laughs> Flip me. At least as far as the JFW is concerned. <laughs> and still. Love to see it. Now one champion that is uh, champion longer than two days <laughs> continues his reign. <laughs> Glorious. Right. Well, now we've got store versus. Humorous Chimp. The new Plim Plum Pluserweight champ in action versus the new Plim Plum Pluserweight. Uh, Store has declared himself open for business and uh, no longer part of the tag team with Flicky. And he is ready to go for, gun for the Plim Plum Pluserweight championship.
Yeah, amazing tag team title reign, but nice to see a change. Nice to see Store in the Plim Plum Blues Away division. And oh baby, the new champion Humorous Chimp. That was an incredible victory. What a run Hancock had with the title. Finally, finally came to a close on Saturday in style. And I am looking forward to some chimp defenses. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's get a ringside. Wait a minute, this isn't ringside. Oh, this is Elliot and Skuro Metzo. Oh man, the injured no, Skuro Metzo getting, getting attacked backstage by Elliot. Oh my goodness. Well, it looked like Elliot was uh, was having words, but he does often lose the chat game. And in fact, <laughs> he uh, first blow in by Skuro. He saw what was coming and didn't mess around. He's the king of the backstage, of course. But even if he gets the best of Elliot here, this can't be good for his chances later tonight. I can't believe Quad Skulls would uh, would sink to this, to be honest, Jim. Yeah, it's pretty pretty bad, isn't it? I mean, especially Elliot. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't of all the people that be yeah. you know that would be patrolling the the backstage arena at three a.m. You would not think of, of Elliot, would you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's he's a pretty bloody lovely guy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a new low for him as well as the quad skulls. <laughs> I can't quite believe what I'm seeing, but they are they are fighting Skur in his own backyard here. <laughs> Oof. Oh my word! Head first into the door, and uh, I think this is Joe Swickman's office. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh no! Jimmy's gonna wrestle later! <laughs> oh my god! That was absolutely devastating. <laughs> this is Skuro's mushroom patch! <laughs> <laughs> He's desperately fighting back, but, uh, but the damage might have already been done. Unfortunately, we're going to have to put off that, the uh, match there. The Chimp versus Chimp versus Storm match is going to have to be postponed. Oh my God! As we uh, oh. keep the cameras here. Skuro's self-confidence uh, not going away. He's in the moment. He's just trying to survive this. Get the best of this brawl, and good on him. It's, uh, but yeah, the big picture is a bad one. Uh, lesser up and coming wrestler being interviewed in the background there. <laughs> it looks like uh, it looks like Tony yeah. plays poorly, doesn't it? Oh, he's running away it does. now. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> ran ran like him as well. <laughs> oh oh no! Oh man! Oof! Wow! Eddie had beaten <laughs> Wall. Couldn't see him. And he'd hitting his head against a brick wall. A little as if you were playing 100 games of Nurgle in a season. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Oh, oh here this we go. This could be it, though. Skuro could have got the best of him. Oh. And he had not done yet. Unbelievable. Very, very determined to help his pal out, Rick Reckless. Yeah. Do all the damage he can. Surely now, pump handle slam. Oh my god, just smashing his head off the ground. Yeah. Well, it's good to see Skuro come out on top because we want some kind of match later, but <laughs> between what he put himself through on Saturday and Elliot jumping him backstage, putting him through a table, this looks real, real bad, Jim. Oh god, br absolutely brutal. Yeah, poor old Skuro there. Right, well, now we've got uh, six feet down under the. <laughs> Somehow, somehow, they lost to North and South. <laughs> <laughs> and then North and South got themselves the title shot in a three-way against the Glorious Ones and the Champs Wrestling Kick Nation. And somehow they emerged victorious. Like, you just can't believe it, can you? One of the greatest JFW stories of all time. And, and you know what? Maybe the three-way tag suited them because you could be underestimated, right? Your opponents can focus on each other. But however it was, history has been made, and North and South are the new tag team champions. Absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to see them with the gold. Woo! Woohoo! Well, here we go. Oh, God, what's this? 
Oh, no way! No. Oh my goodness! Let Skuro go to the freaking toilet already! Oh man, this is despicable. <laughs> Quad schools out in force. Backstage. Luckily for Skuro, they've they've following the uh, the movie rules of one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and fighting fancy book rules, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go into a room with five goblins. <laughs> Thankfully, you're in the doorway and they fight you one at a time. <laughs> oh, man. I, I mean, Skuro can maybe get the best of Elliot backstage, right? It is his speciality. Maybe he's the better wrestler in the first place. But but back to back, and again after what he did on Saturday, this, this can't be good, Jim. I think oh Space has this one. Oh, my God. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Oh, man. Right into the electrical box. Thankfully, the door stayed closed. Can you imagine if that had popped open? Oh, my God. It would have been horrendous. <laughs> Space would turn straight at page 400 and still lose. Holy oh, shit. can't see. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Space slips out the back. He's crashed Skuro into that case a couple of times now. Skuro with a desperation elbow. Oh, Got to appreciate the camaraderie of uh, a quad skulls, though, here, Jim. Whatever you think about it morally, those guys would do anything for each other. Uh, I don't think I have to admire it, no. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's absolutely despicable, Rick. Absolutely despicable. This is... I mean, come on. The, the, the poor guy, he, he sacrificed his body, his career. He jumped off the pod three times on Saturday, and now they're jumping backstage twice in a row. It's outrageous. Well, you know, he's, he's had his moment, and no one can take that away from him. Skuro has now won JFW Gold. No matter what happens tonight, he might carry on as champion. It's not looking good. Uh, and, and if he doesn't, he's got that, that piece of history. It doesn't really matter whether it's, uh, it's, it's him or Rick. This is just business now. Business isn't personal, and there's very rarely morals involved in business. <laughs> I bet it feels pretty personal to Skuro right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, Jimmy? Might just be getting the best of this again, but these aren't the ones that matter. That's very true, yep. Yeah. And even if he does get through them, it's wearing him down... For later in the night, of course, main event versus Rick Reckless to defend his title. Certainly is. There's that desperate elbow again. He's running out of energy, though. Ooh. Or is he? Wow. <laughs> Saving himself for that sweet moment. Incredible. Taking his life in that, his hands there. He could have got his legs wrapped up in those horns. That could have been very bad. Certainly could, but he's already shown... He's prepared to do absolutely anything to win and retain the title. The years of the taunts of never having JFW gold basically sent him into a, a furore, a frenzy, a sort of psychosis. And uh, he just didn't care what happened to his body last night. He doesn't care now. He's, uh, he's going to do absolutely whatever it takes. Gold is all he cares about, more than life itself. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. No, Jim, no. No way. No, oh. Jim, no. Oh, no, Jim. Oh. Skuro. Oh, my God. He might be dead. God. He might not even make it out. That oh. might be it. Oh, my God. God, God. So Thank God. What has Space Cadet done? Space, you've done enough. I... No, Space. Oh, my God. It's kind of ridiculous. That's not the end of oh. the match. This has got to be, yep. Oh, my oh God. no, Jim. I think we've just seen the end of, of the extra arms belt title reign of Skuromezzo. Oh, my God. That is horrific, isn't it? Oh, poor Skuro. Absolutely destroyed. Wow. Wow. Um, okay, well, now we've got... Um, we're going to have to quit that previous match. Sorry about that. 
Uh, we'll have to wait another week to see Ansi and Scotty in, in action with their belts. But now we've got the Royal Rumble winner, Goliath, taking on the belt. One of the few things as big as him in the entire JFW, Extra Arms Bot. Boy, wow, man. yeah, that this is absolutely incredible. There was a chance on Saturday night that uh, Goliath Games could win one title and uh, go to WrestleMania to face for another. Uh, unfortunately, it, it wasn't to be his night that night. Um, but uh, he'll, he'll come back stronger and better tonight, in fact, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, unbelievable. Will the ring even be able to hold them? The two absolute behemoths of the JFW. This is going to be epic. We're about to find out. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, get out what? of town. Oh, come on. That was... They already did the job. <laughs> This is outrageous. He must have only just got the blood stopped. Like, this is... This is insane. This is absolutely outrageous. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh got within 10 yards of the gents three times. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. I, he doesn't even have anything left, Jim. This is just... This is awful to watch. Oh, God. Didn't need to do this. He's American, though. They've got some weird customs, haven't they? Like uh, bringing their own bells to restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't claim to understand the Americans. If, if I need to know something, I, I ask Howdy Nick. But, <laughs> but this, is, this is just beyond like what human beings should do. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought he'd got something going. No, he's he's got nothing, nothing left at all. This is just awful. This is just slaughtering a corpse at this point. <laughs> oh dear! By section. <laughs> oh man! Oh. Every one of these onto the concrete. Yeah, or onto the case or into the locker or up against the wall and the electric box again. Thankfully, somebody got that cover back on. Oh, oh no. 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 Not again. No. Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Double Y. Oh, my God. This could be his career over. I mean, this could genuinely be the end of Skuro's yeah. career, will, my God. Will Jabble make that distance? No, he won't. <laughs> we might never see, yeah, we might never see Skurometsu again. Take, take a picture, guys. Because uh, Skuro won't take one that you'll want. But, but take a picture because you might never, ever get to see his face again. Somehow, somehow, Skuro trying to fight back, but he's just got nothing. He's got absolutely oh, nothing. Oh my god. That was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. Couldn't jump the three feet. I mean, it's it's funny apart from the fact that poor old Squirrel's just getting killed here. In front of our eyes. Could yeah, be it career didn't, over. Didn't even matter. Squirrel. Squirrel. A broken man already. He oh. didn't get a single move in that entire that entire brawl. No, he's absolutely done. Oh my god. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? That is awful. Well, let's hope he's uh, he gets a bit of a break backstage because now we've got Mystery e taking on Clavius. There you go, the mysterious Mystery, e, the new world champion. Looks a hell of a lot like Johnny Five. It's mysterious, I, though. Who could it be? I, I'd be hyped for this, Jim, but I'm just... I, I can't get over what we just saw. I'm, I'm really... I'm just a bit done. It was horrific, wasn't it? Unfortunately, the Goliath vs. the AB had to be cancelled on door. We had to watch backstage what was happening there. Um, sad news, but hey, look, at least we've got, at least we've got this match now. Uh, I have it on report that the previous three matches were all 20 minute draws whilst we were watching the uh, the backstage brawls. Oh, thanks, Rick. You're welcome. 
Here he is, J5. I mean, I mean, Mr. Oak. Ken Boo. <laughs> oh, wait, there's Johnny Five! What? What? <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I. I was. I was. Joking a bit, Jim. Like I, I kind of felt like I knew who Mystery was. I wasn't a hundred percent sure, but I really, really thought I knew who Mystery was. <laughs> what on earth? Oh my God! <laughs> Mystery is not Johnny Five. Wow. And and Johnny Five really, really annoyed at the implication that Mystery gave that it was him. <laughs> we know all about Johnny Five and implications. Who the heck oh. is Mr. E? It's unbelievable, Who isn't is it? Who is our world champion? <laughs> oh my god. An actual mystery. <laughs> could could be could be I again I was kind of joking about Hancock. Could be Hancock. <laughs> could be absolutely anybody on the JFW roster except for J5. Yeah. Probably not Skuru either. <laughs> the fact that he can move at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fair. <laughs> Definitely fair. <laughs> oh my god. Johnny Five batted Mr. E. Oh my god. Could be, could be Muppet, could be Extra Arms Bot, could be absolutely anybody. Can't tell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is possible there's two J5s. <laughs> we don't know that he has a uh, that he has a brother no. Like we're we're gonna we're gonna assume that um oh, that's it. Oh my god. Well this this Monday Night Claw has been an absolute disaster. It really has, yeah. <laughs> it's only been on half an hour. <laughs> train wreck. Train wreck. And we're at the main event, and, and we're not even sure one of the guys will be able to walk to the ring. Yep. Yep, this is, this is horrific. Absolutely horrific. At least we had Nualius absolutely squash an opponent. Yeah, yeah. I when that's match of the night, what the hell have we just watched? <laughs> yeah. But here we go. Rick Reckless versus Skurametto for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. Hopefully. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Undisputed Championship. Well, here's Rick. At least he's made it in the ring. <laughs> he looks supremely confident. Well, he, he's, a, he's a damn fine wrestler, Jim. He's, he's done his training, you know, and uh, he's put in the hours, so he may well look confident. Yeah, he's, he's sent out the hit squad as well to take out Skuro. It's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely. That, that might help disgusting. a little bit too. <laughs> oh man you know what you know what Jim he was forced in first in an elimination chamber and Skuro came out last well that was a little unfair too Jim <laughs> it was a little it was a little unfair but uh, all the other champs had to do it as well and they didn't have a rematch clause like Rick which god knows how he had that rematch clause by the way it's called success, Jim. When you re-sign your contract, if you've been the champion for a year, if you've been the one pulling in the numbers, you get a little bit of extra sway in your contract. Like, you, you can't blame a guy for success. It's nice to. I know the media, in general, likes to build people up and then tear them down. But, it, you know, some people earn a little more. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> he looks like a, an undead mummy, Jim. He does, yeah. <laughs> well, he better hope that he's uh, strength 5 armor 9, but I, I somewhat doubt it. You know what? H hats off. I, I, I like a guy. No matter what, we'll give it a go. And right now, there's no way he should be giving it a go. And yet, here he is. We've actually got a match tonight on Monday Night Claw. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Skuro. 
He's moving pretty well, though, to say he's in like a full body cast. <laughs> Yeti, baby. What was that? 1996 <laughs> Halloween Havoc or something? Beautiful. <laughs> I-5, in fact. I reckon it was 95. Wow. One of the tallest wrestlers in wrestling history. Mm. Well, here's one of the most broken. <laughs> yeah. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 209 pounds. The Saint Rick Rex Ward. Holy howdy. Introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 300 pounds, he is the undisputed champion, Skew Rose, Miss O. I've always felt like it would feel good to be the, uh, the champion, Jim. Do you reckon Skuro feels good right now? <laughs> Probably. Probably not great, no. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's been electrocuted twice. He's been busted open. He's been absolutely destroyed. <coughs> I don't know how he's going to get anything done here, Skuro. Oh, man. Poor we, guy. We did have that ridiculous CPT victory <laughs> under similar circumstances. <laughs> we did, yeah. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, a move by Skuro. Oh, okay, already uh, exceeding expectation. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's every, every little elbow, every little clothesline will be sending bolts of pain through uh, every, every limb, every joint in Skuro's body. And uh, Skuro has many, many joints been put in his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Poor Skuro, this is this is just brutal. And he's battling though, he's battling away Skuro. He's trying, there's a there's a pin. I mean that's not gonna win it in a million years, but uh yeah, gotta gotta admire the fortitude and the effort. He's gotta think it's just a matter of time. Back elbow by Rick. Now, let's see just how beat up Skuro is. Wow, okay, kicks out at one. Mm. Not to say he's going to last much longer. Oh, the ref's down. Oh. oh, man, the ref's really down. Yeah, struggling, struggling to recover. Finally dragging himself to his feet. And luckily, not missed uh, a penal submission on this occasion. Because we, we wouldn't want any sort of uh, dishonor or controversy around the world title. <laughs> No, of course not. <laughs> no, this is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Poor school. I mean, it's 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 wrestling, right? No one said it was easy. No one said it was fair. We've we've all we've all we all know. We've all been fans for decades. Skuro himself knew. He knew what he was getting himself in for. You put a target on your back. When you win the world title, when you go after it, especially the way that he did, you're, you're almost asking for it, Jim. <laughs> I think that's very, very harsh, Rick. I feel like you might be a little bit biased in favor of these despicable quad skulls, fellas. I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I just think they're good guys. They've, they've put on an amazing show, time and again for us, over the months. They've enriched the JFW and the JFW universe experience. We shouldn't be too harsh on them now. No, it's hard not to be. It's really hard not to be. Absolutely outrageous. No. Oh. That, that could be it, couldn't it, Jim? Rick saying he's not done yet. Oh my goodness, Skuro saying he's not done yet. Somehow, fighting back for the Crucifix Powerbomb. I thought that would definitely be enough to end this one. I would have thought, yeah. Oh, he's gone after him, though. Look at this. The old Triple H knee thing. 
<laughs> yeah, what it's beautifully executed. <laughs> Face buster, do they call it? Probably. Uh, sound, sounds about right. Oh, God. There's his knee busted, though. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, man. Rick! Gonna end it! Putting Skuro out of his misery, and boy, has it been some misery. <laughs> oh. Good night. And the rightful champion is... Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh, no, Skuro. <laughs> Skuro refusing to go down. It's, it's one thing to kick out when there might be a chance of winning, but this is just... Oh, this is inhumane. He's, he's made a mistake there, Jim. You know, think of your career. Well, what that? No. <laughs> he is thinking what of his career. Oh, no. Counted. He was going for the pop up power bomb. Yeah. A half crab. <laughs> devastating. Most half devastating crab. move of the JFW. <laughs> is going to win the X Trans Belt Champion as it should. What? Oh, man. I guess the, uh, the Boston champion didn't want to lose to a half Boston crab, Jim. That's true, yeah. There's lines that cannot be crossed. The, his pride would not let him uh, tap to that move. It's, it's one thing to lose to old school. It's, it's <laughs> 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 oh, he's, he's just too slow out there. Rick's just catching him first to the punch every single time because he's the fresher man by about a million years. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. A oh. simple punch to the face just got a two and three quarter count, Jim. Yep, you can see the pain etched in the face of Skuro here. Oh, God. This is horrific. This, this one's got about 60 seconds left at most. Oh. And this is it. This is well and truly it this time. <laughs> Soaking in the crowd. Oh, Champion man. for the third time in 12 months. What a year it's been for Rick Reckless and the Quad Skull. Glory be. I can't. I can't celebrate, Rick. This is this is a travesty. This is a travesty. Those, those four guys. They might have ended Skuro's career here. But think about the bigger picture, Jim. We've got WrestleMania around the corner. Did we really want Skuromezzo? as the defending champion at WrestleMania. You know, never been a champion. Finally fluked it due to an Elimination Chamber situation, coming out last. You know, this is surely, surely better for the for the wrestling world, for JFW in general. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bad. It's such, such a tragic, such a tragic day for the JFW. What can I say? That's, that, oh, man. Poor Skuro. I mean... Well, I guess congratulations to Rick, but massive commiserations to Skuro, and uh, well, let's see what the future holds for him. Um, thank you very much for the commentary, Rick. Absolutely glorious, as always. Pleasure, mate. Yeah, it was uh, a different one, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> it was. But, uh, but the right results at the end of the day. Cheers. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>